So you want to turbo your TSX, but you don't want to drop five grand on the full racing kit? Well, here's how you do a build on a budget. So the two kits that are available for our car would be the full race kit and once you go through all the options, uh, you select the turbo, the wastegate, and the blow-off valve, the total is around $6,600. Um, and the other kit we have available for us would be the CX Racing Kit, and that is a total of $1,500. So, I am going to mention the CX Racing Kit, but that's not my main topic here. Um, I did run that kit, and if you choose to do so, um, it's probably going to end up running you around 2500 to three grand. You still have to buy your injectors, your tuner, your fuel pump, fuel return, so on and so forth. So that would be a fairly cheap route. Um, I'm not going to strongly suggest it. So if you do plan on using the CX racing kit, I would most definitely replace all the bolts, nuts, uh, washers with good quality parts. The ones that came with it, um, I ended up snapping one actually, and I have the manifold and the turbo right here. Um, this is the manifold, it's a log style manifold, and one of the bolts actually ended up snapping inside the threads. Call it, uh, this would be the turbo, and as you guys can see, it's an M12, um, your standard, you know, eBay, eBay turbo. It's got one of these uh, flanges on it. Um, kind of a small turbo, but it will definitely work and you can get power out of it. So you're going to be running that kit. Be prepared to do a little bit of modification to your downpipe. When I installed mine, the way the downpipe bolted on, since it's not a uh, V-band, you can't adjust it. Um, it was actually pressing up against my subframe, so I had to cut the flange. And I have a flange here, actually. I had to cut the flange and re-angle my uh, downpipe down. That kit does work. People have ran it. Um, they've had good luck with it. You could always upgrade a different turbo on there. It's a T3, um, T3 flange, so you could throw on any turbo. So the two reasons I don't strongly recommend the CX Racing Kit. Um, for one, I think that kit looks pretty ugly. I don't like the way the piping is routed in the engine bay. I think it looks kind of goofy, but that's just my personal opinion, and it honestly does not matter because it's your car and you can do whatever you want with it. And the second reason, from my experience running the same exact turbo when I swapped over to the tubular style manifold, I ended up making more power. The power felt a lot more smooth um, across the entire board, and according to my tuner, it has something to do with the back pressure in the manifold, which, you know, some people will say, well, since there's it's so close to the motor, in theory, it's gonna spool your turbo faster. Um, I don't know, I'm not an expert when it comes to tuning. So you could literally buy everything you need to turbo your car for around two grand. Uh, I'm not even joking. Uh, two grand to three grand. There is a lot of sweet deals on Facebook, uh, Craigslist, OfferUp. Go on the groups, Boosted K Series, Buy, Sell, and Trade. One thing you do got to keep in mind um, is this is online. You can get scammed, you can get sold broken parts, but at the same time, you could have really good rewards. So there's definitely some risk and reward to it. So any of the K Series manifolds, um, the flanges fit, and for the most part, you can make any Sidewinder fit our TSX. You will have to do a little bit of fabrication probably on the wastegate location, um, but if you get a Sidewinder that has the wastegate location on top, you will probably be good. Um, and you can pick one of those up used for about 400 to 500 bucks. Same thing with turbos. People sell used turbos all the time. Uh, sometimes they're blown. Um, sometimes it's because they upgraded to a a better one and you could pick up you know a quality turbo for 500 600 bucks um, and what I would recommend doing is buying a rebuild kit for those which will run you you know around 60 bucks and then you'll have to pay a shop to balance it for you intercooler piping I would suggest just go ahead and buy the CX racing intercooler and the piping you can buy it separate I think it runs 500 bucks it might be a little more now 
and it was super easy for me to get that fitted to my car just because the the bends were already there um, the way it came out um, under the driver's driver's wheel um, up into the bay the only thing i had to do was cut up some of those pipes and uh, add a couple boots um, to make it go to the turbo that's really easy to figure out and i will show you guys um, the route i went with um, wastegate i would buy a new one a tile knockoff wastegate um, for about 190 200 bucks what i would recommend doing is completely take that wastegate apart clean all the debris out of it as believe it or not when they machine them there's going to be a bunch of metal shavings in there take that thing apart grease it you can even try shaving down the any burrs on the actual piston the shaft just a fine sandpaper 600 or something just kind of run it on a drill or something just to smooth it out um, put loctite on everything just just so you're uh, comfortable with uh, running that wastegate and it's not going to seize up on you or anything injectors if you're planning on pushing around five pounds of boost you could get away with sti injectors or wrx injectors i ended up running a pair on my cx racing kit they were 560 cc's i believe off of my buddy's wrx um, and i bought them for 60 bucks but you also have the option of you know buying some id 1000s which will run you i believe around 300 400 bucks I, I could be wrong um, but you definitely can get a cheaper set off of another car and i know the ones off of the wrx will fit i believe i have a video on that on my youtube channel you will need to get a downpipe welded do have a video of my downpipe i'll try to throw it in there um, but what i ended up doing was just buying a couple 90s and straight pipe um, fittings off of amazon and a couple v-band flanges and i took it to a shop and got it welded and i feel like they ended up charging me a bit too much um, i ended up paying around 330 bucks just for labor um, on top of the parts but if you have a buddy who welds or somebody close that you know you could definitely get a better deal um, 330 bucks is a lot but you got to think about it that guy spent you know several hours getting everything fitted and welded he probably had to cut it up a few times after he tacked it there's not a lot of room uh, behind the motor where that firewall is it's really tight so that's one thing to keep in mind a fuel pump will run you about 200 bucks you can get a universal fuel pressure regulator you know and a return kit for you know around 200 300 bucks you can buy everything your fittings your hoses with the fuel return you're obviously going to need an aftermarket fuel rail which will run you around 150 200 bucks um, i bought the hybrid racing one for 200 i believe and if you are planning on running over 10 pounds of boost you are going to have to get the four bar map sensor which runs about 90 bucks universal uh, oil feed kit for you know 20 to 50 bucks i would recommend spending a little bit more on it just because i did have one uh rupture on me it got too hot and right where it was crimped it ended up blowing off right at the turbo and the oil drain same thing you can get one of them pre-connectorized an style drains for 20 30 bucks and then you have your support mods um, like an aftermarket clutch which you are going to need um, you have the option of running an lsd if you're a manual car all that could end up costing you about 25 to 3 grand um, obviously it depends on what deals you get on facebook but it is totally doable to get everything you need to turbo your car for around 2500 to three grand i think that's pretty cheap compared to the full race kit so i do want to make a video later on kind of running through my turbo setup what i did and if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment them below and i will try to answer them in my next video this is kind of just giving people an insight on what it costs to turbo a tsx a lot of people uh, don't want to turbo it because it's a lot of money but you can definitely do it on a budget it's most definitely possible i did all the work myself besides getting my block machined um, and bored out and i might have missed something so if i did go ahead and comment it below but yeah i'd say three grand is kind of a pretty good deal compared to uh spending five grand and you're going to be paying for these parts you know over over a period of time because you're going to be sitting on facebook looking for good deals it's not going to hurt your wallet as much so yeah go ahead and uh comment down below uh what you guys want to know any questions comments uh what you guys want me to include in my next video and please like and subscribe and i will see y'all next time